Hey guys, Jordan Madashi here from Perth, Western Australia, and today I'm going to run you through about 15 minutes of raw footage from an awesome weekend in Spain with the legend himself, Wayne Strike. So we got heaps of footage, heaps of pictures, really excited to share them all with you. And today I'm going to run you through a basic shoulder workout. What you're looking at right now on the screen is the pump from towards the end of the workout. The pump was so good, as Arnie would say, it was like coming. And I'm going to show you exactly how I got this pump and how you can get it too. And we do have a lot of footage today, so instead of me just talking shit for the next 15 minutes and you watching me throw weights around and pose on the screen, I'm going to try to give you as much information and knowledge and hopefully some things that can help you as well. So, beginning the workout with a nice dumbbell shoulder press. I was going for 15 reps here. Before I did this, of course, I did a warm up and you always should too, especially on a complex muscle and joint like the shoulder. 15 reps, not too heavy. I'm more about proper form, full range of motion and time under tension. Of course, there is a time and a place for heavy weights too. This is a neutral press, just a different angle, really good for your shoulder health. Give it a shot if you haven't before. And we're supersetting this exercise with Nice, light lateral raises. Chest up, boom, shoulders back. And I bring my elbows up so that they're basically in line with the shoulder joint. There's a lot of different ways you can do this, but on this day, this is how I was doing it. I always encourage you to change up your angles, maybe next time bring your shoulders up higher, hold the dumbbells differently, just see how it goes. So here it was high reps, 15 to 20. These really burn, especially after you've been doing a nice shoulder press. So leading up to this weekend in Spain with Wayno, I dieted for about five weeks. Here doing some single arms, single arm lateral raises, just to push the muscle a bit further because my form was starting to fade a bit on the, on the uh, two-armed lateral raise. You always want to push your muscles that little bit further so do whatever you can to make that happen. All right, shirt's come off already into set number two. Weight has gone up in the shoulder press, so the rep range has come down. Now we're going for around 10 to 12 reps. Again, super setting with the light lateral raise and the weight on that stays the same. So yeah, we had an awesome weekend. We're on this little island here just off Spain. Uh, right next to Ibiza. Beautiful place. I've been spending a lot of time here in the last year. I've been living now in, in, in Europe for almost two years and I bumped into Wayne at the FIBO Fitness Expo in Germany. And we've actually been in contact for a couple of years since I won the Natural Bodybuilding Nationals in Australia. That's when Wayne kind of found me. And uh, yeah, we finally managed to make a nice shooting happen. And I definitely think we didn't disappoint each other. So back into the single arm oh. lateral raises here. Shoulders were on fire by this point. Time for a quick little pose. I don't normally train with my shirt off, nor do I pose this much in between sets, but it definitely can be beneficial. Arnie himself, again, he says, always squeeze and stretch the muscle that you're training in between sets. And I can tell you that from this much posing in between the sets, my shoulders the next day were absolutely wrecked. So, really helped. All right, set number three here. Again, the weight has gone up and the rep range has come down. Now we're going for around eight reps. As you can see by my face, I am in struggle town. Full range of motion, almost getting the dumbbells to touch my shoulders at the bottom. Then you know you're getting a big stretch and squeeze at the top. Beautiful, about to die. That last one or two reps where you're dying, that's what it's all about. Nice slow negative on the last rep straight into those light lateral raises 
And these are just so painful. You really have to try this. Maybe before this workout, I smashed a couple of donuts. Maybe they were covered in honey. Not gonna lie, it was delicious. But my body is nice and sensitive to carbs here because I have lowered them a little bit in my five week diet. Not too low, but low enough so that I got some insulin sensitivity. And when I'm eating these donuts, lathered in honey, the carbs are just launching straight into my muscle cell. And that's what's really helping to get that nice pump and vascularity. The technique that a lot of bodybuilders use. You've seen them backstage at comps, stuffing their faces with lollies and McMuffins, all this. Carb loading and fat loading. But I love carbs. Who doesn't? Another quick pose off here. So now I'm explaining what I'm going to do next. It's a heavy lateral raise with a heavy front raise with a light front raise. So it's three exercises in a row. Tricep. Now you'll see on these lateral raises, I'm kind of bending my elbows a little bit. Almost like a lateral raise mixed with an upright row. Just really allows me to pull up at the top and really get my lateral delts to squeeze nicely. Traps have got a nice pump in them too, not gonna lie, I've never done a shrug in my life, but I have done years of boxing, and I really think that's what has made my traps look the way that they are. And as a result too, actually, my shoulders are very conditioned, so I need to kill them. It's a nice high volume and a good mixture of different training principles to really feel them or get a result. So here the heavy front raises, it was straight from the lateral raises into the front raises. Don't even put the dumbbells down. Rep range is about eight to 10 each arm. Now they were dead, so I'm doing partial reps. Not coming up all the way, obviously, but you could see my delts then, they were really working. So even though I wasn't doing the proper full range of motion then, the tension was still loaded directly into my front delt. So it's just another way to really push the muscle past the point where you think it's already dead. And that's what you've got to do. So now, really slow, strict and controlled front raises. The rep range on here, to be honest, I don't even remember. But it's one of those exercises where you just do as many reps as you can. The great Muhammad Ali says, start counting when it starts hurting. And that's what I was doing here. I just went for as many reps as I could. When it started to hurt, I started counting. When I was about to die, when you know the vision starts going black, then you put the dumbbells down. So now you can see my delts are really filling up. And it is nice and hot in this gym too. It's kind of underground. This isn't my favorite gym in Mallorca. Um, there's one right around the corner from this, that's awesome. And I'll show you some footage from that one at a later stage. Set number three. Way to stay the same for the lateral and front raises. And the rep range too. It's just one of those exercises that you find, like the first set, yeah, you hit the rep range, second set, you're pretty much dying and then the third set you maybe aren't even able to hit the, the same reps as you did in the first set and that's good that's just because your muscles are getting tired and you're killing them front raises partial reps Ooh. struggling lighter front raises nice and controlled Trying to keep a straight face. All right. And the pump is illegal. So, 
We did front delts, lateral delts, a nice shoulder press. Now we're gonna hit some rear delts. This is the ropes. And we we're going for high reps here with a nice pause at the bottom. To get a big squeeze. A lot of the time with rear delts, it is a very small muscle, so I like to really drop the weight when I'm training my rear delt and really just focus on getting that mind-muscle connection and that squeeze. When you're structuring a shoulder workout, you really want to structure it to hit all different parts of your shoulder too, so... And always change up the order of things. Maybe you start with front delts one day, maybe flip it on its head the other day and start with rear delts and finish with front delts. Always shock your body. Ask it to do something different. As you can see here, nice and pumped. Some nice vascularity running across my shoulders. I went for about four sets here. This particular day, I mean, all morning, we had been shooting down the beach. Wayne had me laying on top of some reef that was half in the water. And I'm pretty sure I got bitten by an octopus or something because I had some weird, like, spots on my back. And they were bloody itchy. But they went away in a few hours. Cheeky bicep flex. Here you can really see that the roundness of the delts and the vascularity that's come out. That's me struggling after too much posing. Bit of chest striations. Really squeezing it all together here. Lots and lots of posing. Thanks for watching, make sure you like, share and subscribe to Strike Studio.